Oh, no, that's not so. I fucking loved it, man. I knew the fucking old Dash Green. I was like, fucking deep. So glad. It's really glad. It's really glad. It's really strong. I fucking love it. I really appreciate it. Robert, all right. Here you go. Congratulations, another great film. And, oh, they're unbelievable. So, Andy, <laughs> upload. Be on the net this morning right. before you know it. Um, uh, did you, I don't know, draw any sort of personal uh, yes, life experience in my years as a film? I, uh, <laughs> I, before I became an actor. Uh, no, I didn't actually. I was just, I was invited to come and play the part as an actor. And I, I said I'll do it if I can rewrite it. Uh, and then I ended up seeing would you mind if I direct it and get someone else to play the part? Uh, and so I spent quite a long time rewriting it. And I, and I did go around all the sex shops in Soho and just chat to everybody, which was, uh, which was really interesting. In fact, I can see um, I'm, it's a little bit hard, the film. It's a little bit uh, edgy. And when I watched it again a couple of nights ago, I thought, ooh, it's quite a bit close to the edge, close to the, kind of the, 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 the wire. But pretty much everything I lifted from things that people told me. I mean, there's some pretty... There's a lot of things that you think, there's no way that would happen, and I just lifted it from what I was told, you know. So, so that's pretty that. honest. But to rewrite it, to film it, to be the main rock, what? I mean, it's what obviously it's any extra pressure, and uh, how much time does that take? Uh, and, and, and the pressure that you feel on it, and how, how happy are you now that you've got that you've seen the final product? I'm very happy, and um, I think I could always be happy, and I think that, um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to say because I've never done these kind of things before, so it's all quite new to me. Uh, I've used this as being an actor in a TV show that turns up, says a little hi, and says something sweet to the Sunday night audiences, and off we go. But, but I'm extremely happy with it, and it took me... We've been working on this pretty solidly since 2007, so it's been three years. So it's my first as a writer, my first as a director. Uh, it's not my first leading role, but it's my first lead in a British feature film. Uh, with a really impressive cast. I mean, you know, to sort of follow in the footsteps of people like Annie is a fairly impressive. So I can't say that I'm not slightly bowled over and not slightly intimidated. I mean, I've had some lovely words of encouragement. But I have to say that uh, my years of training and my kind of devotion to the job, I think hopefully that shows that things I've tried to make something that I set my benchmarks high. So if I failed, you know, I wasn't going to fall too far. I was going to hope, you know, that hey, you might hate it. I hope no, you no, love no. it. No, no, no. I saw it last night. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Oh, I was very, very impressed. It was much better than I thought it would be. Well, do you know what? It's much better than I thought it was going to be. So that's a nice start, you know. No, thanks a lot. Thank you, you so much. I've been very kind of you. Tonight, uh, how many times have you seen it? This will be the... Actually, the third, because I watched it last night in Glasgow and the night before in Edinburgh. So, and I'm not going to watch it tonight because I've given my seat up to some other sort of future investors for future films, and those guys are important. What, 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 was there anything we're going to uh, talk about well, right now? I've been asked to do a, a, a horror, and then, uh, oh, it's gone. Oh, my goodness, what happened? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on? I think she was just uh, molested. Wow. I'd like to say that was a publicity stunt, but I'm afraid it wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a horror film that I'm supposed to be doing in October called The Selling. And I've set up a company with Roy Tolkien is my business partner and my best mate pretty much, actually. So we've set up a company and we've been out to Cannes last week and we're trying to push to get about three things into production in the next six months. So we're kind of hoping that we can just jump quickly on the Any momentum. Names? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, they have got names, they have got scripts, but we're not quite ready to kind of announce them yet. But it will be soon, I promise. Okay, thanks a lot. So, real pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs>